All right, y'all. So we're going to tap into your person's thoughts and feelings. But first, I would like to tap into your energy and see how you're feeling right now when it comes to this connection. Spirit is probably knowing from the most high. How does the person in my collective feel right now? How does she feel right now when it comes to this connection? Okay, so you're feeling a little bit sad right now, feeling a little down. Definitely feeling disappointed. discouraged so you're basically feeling you know dispirited like you know like you're just over it like you just you don't even want to get back on that bike again you don't want to get back on this on this ride again with this person you know whatever they did you feel disappointed you feel sad you know they let you down um and yeah you're just feeling unhappy right now with this person so let's see what we gotta receive when it comes to this connection and then we're gonna tap into how they're feeling as well, okay? All right, so let's call the universe no more time. What is the person in my collective need to receive when it comes to this connection? What do they need to receive right now? One more. So this is probably why you're sad. This person is probably um, in some type of situation with a karmic bottom of the deck we have nobody compares to you so uh you know maybe he's like with a baby mom or with an ex or something or with a girlfriend i don't know what's going on we'll see let's see so he's comparing you he's like you know nobody compares to you he knows you know and that's probably why he's trying to leave this person stubborn energy this could be you feeling like this feeling stubborn you know like you um you're not trying to give into this, you know? You're like, I'm not dealing with you until until you let go of this situation, you know, until you get your shit together. Um, or it could be this person, you know, because in the bottom of the deck we have we have some unfinished business. So this person's being stubborn. Like he doesn't want to fall back, you know? Like he wants to resolve this. So he's being stubborn, you know. He's being like, uh-uh, I'm not letting you go. <laughs> The way you touch me so this person this is the way that you touch them they're feeling like you know like they're reminiscing thinking about the past every time that i hear that song i think about you and our memories so yeah you see they're thinking about the past they're thinking about the way you touch them um they're also thinking about a, uh, you know every time that they hear a specific song they um they're thinking about you talking about songs we have this in the bottom of the deck the player's prayer so this is saying that basically you know he's over trying to be a hoe as you can see here there's a such situation going on so he's like uh you know i'm ready to give up you know the the game you know for you and i'm sorry and all this shit so you basically just google the lyrics that's the, uh, a song by lloyd that's how he feels you were a rebound i needed you to get over him or her so we see that he is trying to sit, like, maybe maybe he got back with this person. Maybe this is, like, a situation where they just keep getting back together. And um, he needed you at the time to help him release the situation. So he's still trying to release the situation. Maybe he can't because maybe, you know, maybe she's uh, she has a kid with him. Maybe they paid bills together. You know, it's probably, you know, a messy situation here. But, uh, you know, you that the fact that you were a rebound doesn't mean that this person doesn't care for you. It just means that they needed you at the time to be able to get over this person okay sometimes you know we need that sometimes we need that little motivation you know so that's what's going on here if you're gonna block me block my boys too so we have here insecure jealous and petty so if you got him blocked this person is like you know if you're gonna block me block my boys too maybe you have a group of friends or whatever that are the same um maybe you know yeah that's, that's all it could be you know like you guys have mutual friends and he's like you know if you're gonna block me block them you're probably looking through your page through their 
to their page. And he's like, oh, so you didn't even block homeboy? So he's being jealous and secure, petty. We have emotionally unavailable. So this person is emotionally unavailable at the time, okay? Um, this is probably why you're feeling, you know, disappointed and discouraged, you know? Like, this person is not able to give you what you want. But they do want, you know, to get something going on, but... Right now, this person is not able to give you emotionally what you deserve. You know, as you can see, there's a lot of shit going on here. That's probably why Spirit is trying to say, you know, on the bottom of the deck, we have wet dreams. So I feel like this is the only thing this person could offer you right now, like something sexual, you know. He's thinking about the way you touch him. Uh, you know, he's thinking about the memories and the, the songs and shit. Probably is the songs of Gannett popping, you know. And we do have the player's prayer. So there's probably, you know, there's definitely some player energy. So right now, he's just not ready to give you what you deserve. Which is probably like, you know, why you're like, um, okay, let's, this one want to fall out. Which is probably like why you're like, um, you know, over this shit. I'm going to pull that card in a minute. We got one more. So we have here, I'm manifesting this connection uh, knowingly or not through my thoughts. And we argue and fight about you. That's the card that I wanted to fall out. So yeah, you guys... Um, well, they're, they're fighting about you, you know, so you guys, um, definitely have some type of connection that maybe the, the other person knows about, okay? She knows something's going on here, which is why they're fighting and shit like that. Bottom of the deck, we have the trap queen. So yeah, for sure, that's why he couldn't, he couldn't leave. They probably have kids together. Um, they're probably, you know, living together or she's keeping him trapped, you know, uh, emotionally, you know, or making him feel bad, you know, every time he try to leave or some situation going on there. So we have manifesting this connection knowingly or not through my thoughts. So you see, he is thinking about you, okay? So, you know, he's trying to manifest you knowingly or not. Like, he's just thinking about you so much that now there could be a reconciliation here. Whoa, let's see which one fell out. We got the lingerie card. So, yeah, he's still thinking about, you know, what dreams and all that stuff. He's still thinking about sexual stuff. <laughs> And it shows here, you know, I'm manifesting this connection. So he's thinking about you so much sexually that he's manifesting this. I know that I messed things up. Yes, you did, bruh. Bottom of the deck. I'm sorry. So yeah, he is feeling like, you know, he fucked up and he is sorry about that. Let's see, let's put one more. Yeah, one more. I should have never handled it like that. So, yeah, whatever he did got you feeling disappointed, feeling, you know, discouraged, feeling down. And we have in the bottom of the deck, she cannot stop shit. So, whatever the whatever way he handled it got you feeling some type of way. And he knows that he fucked up. You know, it says he, I should have never handled it like that. And it says he, I know that I messed things up. So, he's realizing what he did. But um, the energy that we're getting here is, like, he's not really into this other person. Like, she cannot stop shit. You know, like, I'm trying to get rid of her. I'm trying to leave her. You know, nobody compares to you. So, I feel like, you know, he's definitely coming your way and trying to release this situation. Let's pull up some emotions. How does he feel right now when it comes to this situation? How is he feeling? How is he feeling? So it's not secure, shelter, protected, and safe. So I feel like uh, he feels like he's safe when he's with you. You know, like he feels that like he can put his guard down. He feels like, you know, he could always come to you. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have curious. So you see how the guy's like, um, you know, look fascinated. You know, he's interested in something. So he feels like that about you. I feel like this is also him. You know, like if you're going to block my boys, block, you know, block me, block my boys. So I feel like he's definitely curious, you know, trying to see what you've been up to. Trying to see, um, you know, uh, what you're posting, stuff like that. So he's definitely, you know, all up in your business, all up in your social media and shit. And we have confident, but we have it in the reverse. So this is saying that he's not really feeling confident right now. You know, he doesn't know if you're gonna take him back and or whatever. You know, bottom of the deck, we have afraid. So that's definitely connecting with that. Hold on, I'm gonna read it, baby. Shh. So that's definitely connecting with this. You know, he's not feeling confident right now. He's feeling, he's feeling afraid, you know. He's feeling um, scared, fearful, you know. He's feeling like, oh, you know, is she going to take me back? You know, like, I don't know if she's going to take me back. So, yeah, he's definitely not feeling confident about the situation. Because, like it says here, you know, I know that I fucked up. And we have inspired. So this is the card I always get when this dude is going to dedicate you a song. We do have song here. 
or he's gonna write you a song if he's into that or something but for sure he's feeling stimulated he's feeling moved and it could be you know to um send you a message it could be to um to write you a song but on the bottom of the deck we have free liberated independent and unburdened so i feel like he's feeling inspired to just like free himself from this situation that he's in like we saw why because he's not happy we have the uh, happy card but we have it in the reverse so he's not happy where he's at okay so let me pull up some thoughts and then we're gonna close it out what is this person's thoughts what is this person's thoughts I thought about you spending time with my family and me. That could be that maybe, you know, he has, um, if he has children, he wanna like get the kids together or just spend time with his family, you know, go to the cookout, go to, you know, whatever. I never meant to hurt you. It wasn't you, it was me. We know it wasn't my person in the, in the collective. We know it was you, nigga, out here doing too much. I've looked into tarot readings. <laughs> so this person, if he's really into this, he's, you know, he's getting tarot readings about this connection. If not, then he's probably just looking into, you know, the horoscopes, you know, trying to see what, let's say you are, uh, uh, Aries, you know, he want to see what Aries is, is going through, you know, what's going on with Aries. We do have curious. So, you know, he is trying to find out as much as he can about you, you know, looking through your page or even, you know, getting readings done, trying to see, you know, we're going to get back together, whatever, whatever. And it says, I do want us to be in a relationship. Bottom of the deck. I'm not used to a connection like this, so I run. So this is the runner energy. You know, he's been hurt before. Um, we have also, I miss you a lot. He's been hurt. Oh, and look what we have here. No one can change my love for you. And I feel like this is connecting to that other card. You know, like nobody, nobody compares. She cannot stop shit. You know, like nobody can change my love for you. Like I'm always gonna, you know, come running back to you type of energy. You know, um, I feel like oh yeah with the runner energy like you know like maybe he got hurt in his past you know maybe somebody broke his heart or maybe you know he just was raised in a family where he didn't really see love like that and he just doesn't know how to love right now so he has a lot of healing to do so that's why you know when i'm it says here when i'm i, I mean when i'm what when i'm what <laughs> it says i'm not used to a connection like this so i run so basically you know that's why he runs okay so that's that, that runner energy so he needs to heal that shit so ain't nobody trying to be running after nobody Alright, let me get some cards from here. I'm gathering the strength to leave the toxicity behind. We see that, you know. He's feeling inspired to, to free himself from this situation. So he is trying to, you know, get up out of this connection. Am I still blocked? <laughs> See what I was saying? Like, he was like, yo, if you're going to block me, you know, block my boys too. You know? So he's like, am I still blocked? <laughs> we have here, I wanted to call you, but I started to overthink and I talk myself out of it. And that's giving me this vibe here, you know? Like, he was inspired to do something, you know? It, it could be that he wants to release his connection. Of course, we, we see that. But, you know, maybe he was trying to, oh, as well, you know, feeling inspired to reach out to you or, um, you know, send you a text or something or a song and, you know, he, he talks himself out of it again because he's afraid. It shows that he's not feeling very confident, you see? He knows that you're probably not with the bullshit, you know? Would you accept my apology? So it's up to you, my love. Will you? It shows here, I'm sorry. Bottom of the deck, it says, I lied to you and I lost you. So for sure, he wants you to accept his apology, okay? So, let me get some advice from Spirit. Spirit Squad, the universe in the right time. What does the person in my collective need to receive regarding the situation? An open display of love and, aff and affection and special attention to each other's worlds. I don't even know why I'm reading this wrong. An open display of love and special attention to each other's needs is warranted. Sorry, I don't know. We tweaking sometimes. But there's an interference, bottom of the deck. And we see there is an interference. An external influence uh, have caused distractions and disarray and disconnection. We see that there's a third party. There's an interference. 
Oh my God. <laughs> you know? Yes. Yes, we see that. Thank you. We also have manipulation on the bottom of the deck. So this person is absolutely manipulating him. What I said here with the trap queen, it doesn't have to be manipulation with a baby. It could be she's having him, you know, uh, emotionally manipulated, you know, like, uh, you know, how are you going to leave me? And, you know, after everything we've been through or whatever the fuck, you know, like she's manipulating him. This could also be voodoo, but I didn't get the voodoo card. So there's for sure some type of manipulation going on, which is why it's hard for him to get out of this situation. So we have the memories card. Past events and times together are fondly remembered. We saw that with this card here. That like this person definitely is thinking about you, thinking about the memories, thinking about what happened in the past. An alternate course of action is needed to move past this roadblock. So there's a detour right now, you know? Um, let's see. The situation is challenging someone to take the risk to be emotionally available and open. And we saw that with the, um, I run when it gets real. One of those, yeah, right here, I'm this card actually. He's gonna start being vulnerable, okay? This person is gonna start, um, you know, to open up and stuff like that. I feel like you have to be patient, you know? So we have the detour card, so things right now, you know, are not going your way with this situation, but be able to say, you know, just be patient. Things are gonna go your way. You need to let this person do the healing and look what we got our new revived beginning is on the way so there's a new beginning here just be patient bottom of the deck harmony this relationship will experience more peaceful and pleasant interactions okay sis i see you oof and look what we have here on the twin flame card this connection involves challenges resistance and major karmic lessons absolutely so i don't like to get too much into the uh you know the whole title and stuff like that but there's definitely uh, a divinely guided you know connection all right this card is the next card that came out and it says someone is being cautious and wearing a protective barrier. So I feel like you are being guarded right now. But Spirit is trying to tell you with these cards, you know, that this person, um, not only this person, but you as well need to focus more on being a little bit more vulnerable, a little bit more open, okay? Because this person is coming your way and we do have a twin flame connection. So it's definitely divinely guided, right? So just give it time, you know, this person is trying to get out of the situation. He's trying to free himself from the situation. So just be patient, all right? Everything else looks good, you know? Just go with the flow and just take it one day at a time. If this was your reading and, um, you know, you feel like this is this is what you needed to receive, then please like or comment. Um, you know, uh, also, you can click the link in my bio and you can check me out on YouTube as well, all right? Take care, y'all.